Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying my very best to explain to you guys exactly what each of these new summoning animations on the JP side of the game actually mean and what they represent. Now, I feel like this video is also relevant to global players as well since these animations will eventually make their way to global too, so it never really hurts to be prepared, right? But before we get started, I do want to be very clear about one thing, and that is I can't say with 100% certainty that I know the exact meanings of these animations because some of the things that happened could be pure coincidence, but what I can say for sure is that at this point, I have spent over 15,000 stones summoning on the JP side of the game, uh, specifically mostly on the Int Future Gohan banner, so I feel like my understanding of these animations as far as a Dokkan Fest banner is concerned is pretty freaking solid. I mean, I would say I have 90 to 95% confidence in my explanations, but of course there is still a little bit of room for error, so if you guys are okay with that, and keep watching and obviously if you find there's something that I said in this video that you know is wrong then feel free to let me know in the comments down below I'm always open to correction all I want is for you guys to have the most accurate information as possible all right so uh, without further ado let's jump into it and I'm not even gonna pretend that I have all the animations memorized by heart and I will be reading my notes from my phone throughout this video all right so let's start with the new combinations that I'm personally aware of and they are Krillin and Android 18 flying in, Android 17 and Android 18 flying in, and also Beerus and Whis flying in together. Now, as far as Krillin and 18 and 17 and 18 are concerned, as far as I'm aware, they work basically the same as any other of the previous special combinations like Tien and Chaozu, or Gohan and Piccolo, or Goten and Trunks. Essentially, if you get these combinations, then you can expect a featured unit or 3 plus SSRs or possibly a combination of both. I have seen people get like 3 featured units from one of these animations, but essentially the same meaning as the old combinations. But Beerus and Whis are very special. And speaking of them, let's actually move on to the next batch of animations with the same meaning as far as I can tell. And they are the animations that will guarantee you the new Dokkan Fest unit on the banner that you're summoning. So for example, if you're summoning on the Int Future Gohan banner, if you get one of these three animations, then you can expect to get at least one copy of the Int Future Gohan in your summons. And these three animations are the Beerus and Whis flying in together, which leads into the Whis time reversal animation where he taps his staff twice, reverses time, and changes your summon into a Vegito Blue summon. And the other one is the Zeno animation, which uh, basically when you're pulling down, you have two of the Zenos popping in from the top, and that will also guarantee you the new Dokkan Fest unit. And there's also the Rose Rift in Space alternate background where all the colors are different, and you can see the uh, Space Rift with Rose. Well, actually, Rose is not there, but you can see the Rift in the background, and uh, that will also guarantee you the new Dokkan Fest unit. So, for any of those three animations, you will be getting the new unit, not just any new Dokkan Fest unit or any Dokkan Fest unit in general, but the unit for the banner, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, I can just see it being so freaking hype when you get that. And um, it's something that I've been asking for for a very long time, so I'm really, really glad they finally implemented it. So once again, they are the Zeno animation, the Beerus and Whis animation, and also the Rose Rift in Space alternate background. And the thing is, I know what they do now for the uh, Dokkan Fest banners, but I'm not really sure what they represent for like legendary summon banners or any other non Dokkan Fest banners with LRs. I'm assuming they at least, at the very least, mean a guaranteed LR, but possibly also the, like, the new LR that's featured, right? So it's hard to say right now since there's no featured LR banner out, but uh, once one does come out, I'll do more summons and give you guys more information in a future video. And next up, we have the gold text. So basically where it says pull down usually, that text is in solid gold. And I have, I'm actually like 99.9% .9 sure about this one because I've gotten it like 20 times plus, And every single time, it has led to a Vegito fusion. Um, and this is guaranteed whether or not Vegeta actually shows up. Like Vegeta could show up 
you could get gold text and it's a fusion or Vegeta might not even be in the summon and you'll still get the fusion if you have the gold text. And this also applies to any combination of units as far as I can tell, including special combos like um, Trunks and Goten or Tien and Chiaotzu and so on and so forth. So gold text essentially is guaranteed fusion. Now one random thing to note, and I'm really not sure about this one, but I've seen it quite a bit in my summons as well. I think I got it like five or six times, and that is when Vegeta and Xiaotu fly in. And from my experience, in like the five or six times it's happened in my 15,000 stones, every single time Vegeta and Xiaotu fly in together, it's fused. So I'm not saying that this is necessarily a combination or a guaranteed fusion because it doesn't really make too much sense, but maybe it's like a random easter egg that the developers threw in there um, where Vegeta and Xiaotu means guaranteed fusion. I'm not really sure, but that's just based on my own personal experience. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys experience the same thing because every single time it's happened to me, it's fused, all right? So that's the gold text thing. And uh, next up is Trunks holding my, or I'd say my on Trunks, since we say Hercule on boot, right? And uh, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as Hercule on boot. So basically, if you're summoning on a Dokkan Fest banner, then it's going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive. And if you're summoning on a banner with LRs or a non Dokkan Fest banner, then it's going to be a guaranteed LR. And it could be any LR or any Dokkan Fest exclusive that's featured on the Dokkan Fest banner. So, uh, yeah, based on my understanding, it's uh, Trunks and Mai is the exact same thing as uh, Hercule on Boo. And then next up is the lingering or extra long Kamehameha, where uh, essentially the Kamehameha you blast off is. It just like stays there for extra long, at least like two to three seconds longer than normal. And this one is also a little, it's a little bit ambiguous to me because every time I got this animation, it was a Dokkan Fest exclusive, but I've heard people say that it's also just a regular feature. So the fact that I got a Dokkan Fest exclusive every single time I got this animation could just be a coincidence and it might just mean a regular or any featured unit. But from my experience, like I said, it was a Dokkan Fest every time, so it could also mean a Dokkan Fest exclusive, the lingering Kamehameha. So uh, this one I still need to do some more testing for, and if you guys have more information about it, let me know in the comments down below once again. So that is the extra long Kamehameha, and then next up is Roshi and Bunny Bulma double screen crack, and the Bunny Bulma is actually Oolong once again, so technically it's still the Oolong double screen crack, but uh, as far as I can tell, it's exactly the same as the original panties, uh, oolong panties animation, so once again a Dokkan Fest exclusive on non on, on Dokkan Fest banners and on non Dokkan Fest banners, it's a guaranteed LR as far as I can tell once again. And there's also the anniversary Super Saiyan 1 to 3 screens with the Goku holding up the fingers, you know, one finger for Super Saiyan 1, two, finger for, two fingers for Super Saiyan 2, three fingers for Super Saiyan 3, and when these show up, they always seem to lead to a Super Saiyan God animation. So at the very least, they mean that you're, you're going to get three plus SSRs guaranteed. And I'm not 100% sure if they represent anything else right now since I haven't gotten it that much. But every single time I got it, it has led up to a Super Saiyan God. So I'm going to say at the very least that when these anniversary screens show up, it means that you're going to get at least three SSRs. And then... Last but not least, we have the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation, and this is the one that I am just really not sure about because I have not gotten it once in my 15,000 stones, and I have yet to see anybody actually get this animation in in-game summons. I've seen people play it on the Uni Dokkan website where it has the animations in the files like playing, right? So you can, you can watch it on that website, but I haven't seen anybody actually do summons in the game and get the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation, so for now, I'm gonna assume that it means a guaranteed LR since the only reason I can think of that I didn't get this animation in 15,000 stones except for the fact that I'm super unlucky is that it, you can only see it if there is an LR that can be pulled on the banner, right? So uh, for now I'm gonna say that the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation is guaranteed LR but I'll definitely have to do some more testing and do some more summons, collect some more data before I'm 100% sure about that one. But otherwise, guys, I mean, those are all the new animations that I'm currently aware of that were added to the game with the new update. There's always the chance, of course, that I missed a combination or another animation, but the only combos that I'm currently aware of, the new ones that mean something, are Krillin and 18, 17 and 18, 
and viewers and Whis, but if there is another combination or another animation out there that I didn't talk about that you know for 100% fact means something special, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below so that everybody else can see too. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative in some way. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.